the undeclared curfew imposed by the authorities in the region was lifted from much of Jammu and Ladakh regions within a few days, but is reportedly still in place in large parts of the Kashmir Valley, uh, preventing the free movement of people as well as hampering their ability to exercise their right to peaceful assembly and restricting their rights to health, education, and freedom of religion and belief. There have been several allegations of excessive use of force, including use of pellet-firing shotguns, tear gas, and rubber bullets by security forces during sporadic protests, with unconfirmed reports of at least six civilian killings and scores of serious injuries in separate incidents since the 5th of August. At least another six uh, people have been killed and over a dozen injured in alleged attacks by armed group members since the 5th of August. While restrictions on landline telephones were eventually lifted and a state-run telecom company allowed to resume partial mobile phone services, all internet services remain blocked in the Kashmir Valley.